Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take you through the day's temperatures. It was a mix of sun and clouds, more clouds early and a little more sun later. Low 60s at the coast, some middle and upper 50s around Watsonville, and then middle 60s for the valleys, upper 60s around Soledad and 66 in King City today. So uh, pretty nice, uh, about average or maybe even a few degrees above in some cases. Visible satellite showing, again, the rotation of clouds up from the south. So there's that system down here. Clouds were coming up and around, and we were dealing with that today. We didn't get any of the rain, though. We didn't expect to. That's down in Southern California. Not a lot with that. Some rain around L.A. and uh, San Diego looks like getting most of it and a little bit of snow uh, in the mountains down there in the San Gabriel. So winter weather advisories that system is kicking on out of here. And then we look up in the Gulf of Alaska where we have low pressure. Finally, uh, the opposite, of course, of high pressure, which is what we've had most of the winter there. And there is a front starting to set up. It's got some cold air. The system's coming down from the north. It will tap into a little bit of moisture as it comes in and uh, bring us some rain eventually. So we'll look at that tomorrow. It's some low clouds in the morning. They'll probably break up during the day, so we'll go back to mostly sunny. The front will still be way offshore tomorrow, but we'll start to see the breeze switch around. Probably uh, go south and southwesterly uh, in the evening times tomorrow. And then on Friday, it looks like we get through the day dry. That's 5 p.m. The front just starting to come into uh, north and eh, say the North Bay and then heading towards the Golden Gate. It looks like it'll be evening hours for us, although the Santa Cruz Mountains starts a little earlier usually uh, with these, so they might start seeing some rain maybe around seven or eight. The front comes through. It's a quick mover. By Saturday morning, this thing's already long gone, so we can't possibly get that much rain out of a front that moves through that quickly and certainly not expecting heavy rain with it either. So the burn scars probably uh, no issues with those, but we'll continue to track this. We're still two days out, so uh, we will make uh, amends to it. And again, we're left over with some clouds in the morning on Saturday, but by Saturday afternoon, it looks like we're back to partly to mostly sunny skies with high pressure redeveloping. There are other systems that will be heading our way, but that will be after the weekend. Uh, partly to mostly cloudy tonight. We are looking at some bay low clouds setting up, which we haven't seen much of, of course, uh, in the middle of the wintertime. Uh, 30s and 40s for your overnight lows. Chilly temperatures out there for you in the morning. Upper 30s to low 40s. If we get more of the cloud cover, probably more, more low 40s by the bay. It will be a little warmer. Tomorrow, between about 60 and 70, we'll start off with some of the overcast and then go back to some sunshine in the afternoon. Uh, so looking like a pleasant day overall. Wind should remain lighter than today. We did get a good breeze going today. 62, a popular number. Santa Cruz, Ben Lomond, Watsonville, about 64 here in Salinas, 62 around the peninsula. Middle 60s, Carmel Valley, and the valleys may be up a few degrees. 70 Soledad, 70 in King City. You had more of the overcast down there today, less tomorrow. Upper 60s in San Jose and middle 60s, Morgan Hill, Gilroy over to Hollister, and just about 60 up in San Francisco. So we'll take you through the KSBW eight-day forecast because certainly there is starting to uh, be an active period coming. Now, you don't really see any rain here. Of course, the rain's Friday night. By Saturday morning, it's pretty much gone. Saturday and Sunday look like a mix of sun and clouds. Notice the temperatures, though, more 50s than even 60s over the weekend. It'll be a big chill down for us. We could see some light snow up over the peaks uh, with these systems. And then Monday and Tuesday, two more systems come through, so it's unsettled. It's probably showers on and off. Could you know end up with some hail out of some of those systems because they're going to be cold and kind of convective. Low 50s and upper 50s by next Tuesday for high temperatures, so you'll feel that. So winter isn't done with us yet, and then we'll clear out after that, and hopefully uh, we'll be measuring up some of the raindrops. 30s and 40s for your overnight lows. Remember, rain likely Friday evening overnight into Saturday morning, but that timing could change. We're still right. again two days out. It could be a little early or a little later, but I don't think anybody's going to complain about an overnight rain on no. Friday night. And then we get that out of the way. There'll be a little snow in this year out of this. So we're going back to something active and it does look like a more active month for March than it was, let's say the last bunch of months, right? We right. really haven't had an active month. We've had little periods this month. The way the atmosphere is setting itself up, it will lend itself to getting storms coming through California. Maybe not big storms, but at least something. But it's something, so we'll keep our fingers crossed yeah. on that.